I feel like I owe you guys a bit of an apology for where I've been. This is actually future me. I've kind of like put this in at the beginning of the vlog just because I feel like I need to say hi. I'm sorry I haven't been here for the last couple of weeks. I don't really know why. Like time has just kind of dwindled away from me and you'll see in this vlog, this vlog has gone on for so long. I actually started it two weeks ago and I finally finished it and I'm going to upload it even though it's a bit all over the place. I just want to get it out there and I want to start a new vlog tomorrow and just get back on track because so many of you have been messaging me on Instagram. I've even seen you commenting on some of my last videos asking where the vlog is. But all I can say is I'm very sorry but I'm back and I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog and I also hope that you've all been keeping alright as well and I look forward to catching up with you in the rest of this vlog. Good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog. How are we all? I hope we're all doing well. Today is... I was about to say it's Easter Sunday, that's complete lie. It's Good Friday in the UK. So we have a really long weekend from Friday. I think we get Friday and we also get Monday off, which is just fantastic for Easter. So I'm very much looking forward to it. And we have been treated to some sunshine. The sun is well and truly out today. And I don't think this was forecast. So we're very lucky with it actually feeling like spring right now. I mean, it should feel like spring. We are April, which speaking of April, it is officially my birth month. And at the end of the month, as you all know, because I've told you all 150 times, but I am 30. And you know what? I'm actually so excited, not to be turning 30, but because I have got so many plans. I've kind of done this on purpose to kind of soften the blow of turning 30. I've just made so many plans. As you guys know, I'm having a party, which I can't lie, I'm slightly anxious about. And yesterday, I decided to change the entire theme of the party. So the theme was meant to be gold and nude. One of my best friends, Nicole, she um, has an events company, so she's kind of doing it all for me. We thought, okay, very glam, gold and nudes, and that's what we were going for. Anyway, after we decided the theme of the party, I then started looking for a gold dress to wear because of course I want to match the theme. I cannot find a nice gold dress anywhere and it has been <laughs> stressing me out. I've ordered so many and just basically hate them all. I feel like with me being blonde and then sort of like my skin colouring, it just doesn't look good with gold. And then earlier on in the week, I went and bought a bunch of flowers, which are actually magnificent. They're in my um, living room. I'm going to show you them in a minute. And they're all really gorgeous kind of pinks and lilacs and very, um, what's the word, like spring kind of vibe. And I thought to myself, do you know what? This is actually my favourite colour. Like, I love pink. I love all of these kind of purples and things. Why don't I do my birthday sort of pink? But I think when you think of pink, you kind of think it like really tacky, like sweet 16 and it's just not the vibe I was going for. But I'm going to insert some photos of what we're thinking we're going to do. And so yesterday, cut a long story short, Nicole hates me, we changed the entire theme from gold to kind of pink and very spring. And I now have ordered two dresses, which once again I'm going to insert on screen. When they arrive, I'm going to um, try them on for you guys and we need to decide which one I'm going to wear. And I'm going all out with the kind of like pink sparkly theme, but also gonna try and keep it classy at the same time so that's very exciting and then my boyfriend and i fingers crossed are going away um around my birthday as well and i'm going to paris with my friends and then it's my boyfriend's birthday so we're going away so i feel like you're gonna have a lot of travel vlogs and it's gonna be like i am living my best life but you know what i'm going to be and i've just decided for the next month i'm just really gonna celebrate by the way i know my hair looks super crazy but i have finally mastered the technique of how to get your dyson air wrap hair to hold and this is how it works i'm going to brush it out in a bit and show you this will last until i wash it again honestly i don't know why i didn't do this sooner but clipping it up after you've blow dried it makes such a difference anyway i haven't even told you what we're actually doing today i am getting ready because i'm actually going to meet i think in a vlog not so long ago i was meeting abby and amanda actually i think i did didn't i i'm going to meet my friends abby and amanda and we're having our first like proper drink since Amanda had her baby last August. We've met up so many times since, but for things like breakfast and stuff. So it'd be nice to have, even though I'm not really drinking at the moment, but it'd be nice to have like a proper drink and just like a real girl's day. And then we're also celebrating my friend Abby's birthday because it's her birthday on the 12th. By the way, I can't actually see if you guys can see the floor. I'm hoping you can't because as always, I'm like a broken record. It's such a mess in my dressing room today. Of course it is. I love that Bobbi Brown blush that I've just used. It looks like this, it's such cute packaging. I'm definitely gonna use that on my birthday. I kinda need to do like a trial makeup run for my birthday party. I'm actually tempted to get my makeup done, but whenever I've done that in the past, I've never loved my makeup. 
But I mean, it's not that I'm actually great at makeup because I'm absolutely not. I just kind of know like what I like to look like, if that makes sense. I really can't tell you how much I love this Dior lip gloss. It's in the shade 038. And it's one of the maximizers, but it's really dark. So when you put it on top of it, it's not really dark, but it's like a dark gloss. It's almost like a lipstick, but with a gloss to it. So when you put it on over the top of lip liner, it really covers it. So I don't have to wear lip liner, lipstick and gloss. This kind of covers the lipstick and the gloss, if that makes sense. How have I lost my mascara? How is it physically possible to lose a mascara in your own house? Like, I don't understand where it's gone. I had to use... The Hourglass Mascara, which is all thick and clumpy, and now my eyelashes look really rubbish. I wanted to use the L'Oreal Telescopic, but I honestly can't find it anywhere. Anyway, let's take these curls out, and I need to pick an outfit. I've just quickly blow-dried out my fringe, so I'm just going to quickly pin it, and then I'm going to take out all of the clips that are in. I feel like I didn't really do this very well today, though. Some of them kind of fallen out a little bit, but it still should be fine. Such a better way, though, of getting your blow-dried curls to stay. Because I find if I don't do this, within like a few hours, it won't drop entirely, but it will drop loads. And these clips are so cheap. I just got them from Amazon. I think they were like £3 for 10 or something like that. Okay, after all the clips are out, it makes my hair look so short because it's so bouncy. You then need to use an appropriate brush. You can't use any brush. You could use a comb like this. Or this is from Tangle Teaser. Sorry, <laughs> ignore my bag of crisps that I had a minute ago. This is from Tangle Teaser. And it's basically designed for brushing out curls and styling so it doesn't make your hair frizzy and it doesn't brush them out too much if that makes sense i just go through all of the curls with this i love this part and then just again with the other side and then once you've brushed it all out you just need to get a little bit of oil because it can go not dry but sometimes it just doesn't look that shiny so this is just an oil from kerastase which smells so good i'm just gonna run it through the ends anyone would think that i'd been to a salon this morning and had a blow dry. I mean, look at this. Anyway, outfit of the day. I don't know what to wear. I was half thinking this um, jacket, which I actually got from Zara, but I've worn it, I've worn it twice already this week and I'm not shy of an outfit rewear, but I feel like I've kind of overdone it for the week. But it looks like this. It's so gorgeous. Have I got makeup on it? No, I haven't. I've added a little YSL brooch to it. How pretty is that? It's almost like, now, how do you say this fabric? Is it boucle? I say boucle. I think some people say boucle. But, you know, that kind of fabric. If I get it close, can you see? It's, like, really textured. But it's so beautiful on. And I was thinking I could wear it with those Reese trousers that I showed you guys in the last vlog. I'm thinking this could look nice. I actually shot this outfit earlier on in the week, though. I feel like it'd be nice to maybe wear something else I could get a picture in. Because I don't want to shoot the same outfit twice. Like, there's no point. I could wear jeans and a khaki jacket or my black jacket. I feel like everything I want to wear is either too casual or too dressy. And I don't really, I just feel like I'm going to go with the cream outfit, but everything needs steaming, so I need to do that. I need to show you guys, look how beautiful these flowers are. I got them the other day because I shot some pictures, I'll insert the photos, for Instagram in front of this sort of flower store because I was going to buy these flowers. And the guy said, yeah, of course, take as many photos as you want. So I literally had a photo shoot. And then I bought these flowers from him. I asked him to kind of put a bunch together and he matched them to my outfit that I was wearing. Guys, look how beautiful they are. I actually bought them, where was it? Monday. Today's Friday. And I feel like they're actually doing so well. Often flowers like that, I think, die really quickly. These were so stunning and they were £40, which you're probably thinking is a lot of money if you don't live in London. But honestly, I have bought bunches of flowers around London. Like in the Chelsea kind of area, I kid you not, £90, £100. They are so expensive. So I feel like these were a bargain and they're so pretty. And they were also the flowers that inspired me for my birthday because I feel like my birthday in these kind of colours, you can't even see them, would, would be really cute. And if you're in the market, for a good steamer. I've had this one years, it's from Tefal, and it's absolutely brilliant. I don't actually own an iron, only a steamer. So whenever I'm going out, I always use this. I feel really naked in this top, and it's kind of showing my bra. It's not really that flattering, but I wanted to wear a t-shirt, a cream t-shirt. I washed it last night and it's still really, really wet. And my tumble dryer will not, like, you can't just put something in the tumble dryer for five minutes. My tumble dryer is so useless, so I feel like I'm gonna have to wear this vest. And then I've got on the Reese trousers. Then for my jewellery, I'm just going to do my usual, but I'm actually going to put in my new Cartier hoops because why the hell not? 
I feel like this will do for perfume though. I think I'm going to do Delina because this is my favorite perfume right now. I actually have a few favorites. This whole row here, I'm absolutely loving for spring. Narcisa Rodriguez for her forever, which is so lovely. This um, Mason Francis one, Grand Soir, so, so nice, but more of like an evening scent. The middle one there is Diptyque. Is it Lee? Pepier, I'm probably saying that wrong. It smells incredible. Then obviously we have Delina, which is quite fruity. Jo Malone Rose Blush, which basically is what it's called. So it's very sort of a floral scent, but it's really, really light at the same time. And then the same as the Jo Malone Star Magnolia. Another really kind of spring scent. Floral, but not too floral. But today I'm gonna do this. For my bag, I'm thinking my YSL college bag, so then it matches my brooch. This bag has been used so much over the last few days. I'm gonna do a quick spritz of the Cordially Beauty Elixir because this I just feel like is so good for setting your makeup and it just gives you a really, really good glow. And not to mention, it smells incredible. I love this stuff. And this is the full look. We've gone very, very cream. I'm gonna try and step on this stool without falling off to kind of show you the full outfit. Are you gonna be able to see it? I'm unsure if you are. I've got on the cream trousers. I have on, I mean, this is, this is just such a terrible way of me showing you this outfit, but just so you get the vibes. And then my Chloe trainers. I actually need to cut the label out of these trousers because you can see it. is I am so sorry for barely vlogging yesterday. I had a wonderful afternoon with my friends. We had far too much wine and yeah, it was a great day. I somehow scratched my eye. This has happened a couple of times when I'm drunk, then I sleep. I somehow scratched my eyeball, don't really understand. Anyway, despite the fact that I'm not feeling my 100% best, I am all ready for the day. I'll show you my outfit when we're on the way. We are about to go to you're all gonna know where we're going because I feel like I go here in every single vlog. I'd like to say I don't actually always go to this shop like every single day, but I had a message from an SA in a particular jewellery store who has been trying to hunt down something that I want to buy myself for my 30th birthday. You guys probably know what it already is. And she actually texted me yesterday, she rang me yesterday to tell me that she had it. So I'm going today to go and pay for it. Um, and I probably am not going to be able to bring it home because I need to get it resized um, But I'm gonna vlog as much as I can and then it's actually my boyfriend's um, Nephew's first birthday party. So we're going to that and we're just having a little day out to Harrods Shoe Heaven. Look at these Manolos. Oh my goodness, there's so many beautiful ones, but I'm on the hunt for pink because I need pink for my birthday. Stress, sensational. I mean, wow, look at these heels. So extra, imagine on holiday, love. We've got Amina Moadi. The, oh, I feel like these could be nice. They look really comfy, very sparkly, but mm, I don't know. I actually saw these online and these are the ones I actually came in here for, so I'm gonna try them on. Also saw these, but I feel like, no, the only good thing about them is the fact they're pink. These, I feel like are princess shoes. Look at that bow, but also I don't really feel like they're me. Of course, my favorites, Rene Calvilla, but yeah. Okay, these are their Minas on. Look, this is my two personalities, trainers and heels. They kind of hurt me. The strap across the front is really tight. And then also these Renees, but I feel like they're the wrong color. You can really see my card holder. I'm trying to kind of make the camera be in the right position to say hi. We have been to Harrods. We got what we went for. Well, I tried us some shoes, actually, which it was that I didn't like any of them, but I just feel like none of them are actually right. 
you got the presents you went for. I also got my birthday present, guys. So that is very exciting, but I don't get the bracelet for about another six weeks because the way they come are just way too big for my wrist and it kind of just like hangs off. So I had this one altered when I got it as well. So yeah, hopefully the lady did say that they've been coming back a little bit sooner than six weeks. So fingers crossed, I get that soon. So I won't actually like sadly have it for my birthday, but whatever, that is very exciting and it's beautiful, so sparkly, so happy with it. Anyway, we've just pulled up at birthday party so it's gonna be just gonna be so crazy are you gonna get drunk no I'm not. why it's a kids party party i'm only joking didn't even get to show you my outfit of the day today can you do a quick outfit of the day for me so do you as well okay so outfit of the day would you like to tell everyone where your trainers are from travis scott slash cactus jack bandana print you know these are actually my favorite pair of trainers that you own love them wish they were mine yeah Trousers? Uh, some company on Instagram. <laughs> the, the string is so long. Fleece is from Folk. Shout out Alex the Plug at Matches Fashion in Wimbledon. <laughs> T-shirts from Coupors. Chain is from Trossers. Shout out Alex. <laughs> what do we have here? We have on a pair of Nike trainers. My boyfriend actually got me the other day. Fresh Air Force ones. Ooh. I've worn them so many times since. Then I have on a pair of jeans which are from H&M which are actually very big. Can't lie got a size, two sizes too big to be honest, but you know, I feel like they look kind of cool. My t-shirt is from Zara, my jacket is from Zara as well, and my, what else have I got to say? My bag is Chanel, I have, I also have my Cartier hoops then, which you guys saw in the last video. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is my outfit of the day. <laughs> my videographer is getting carried away <laughs> what can i say it's been a couple of oh, do you know what i've just turned this camera on it's got no battery and now it's telling me it's got no memory let me just delete something and i'll be back okay we should have a couple of minutes that i can just speak to you all about but guys i feel like this vlog has been going on for ages but nothing has actually happened in it like what i've actually done it's just been me starting a vlog each day and then not doing anything i'm determined to finish this vlog so today is currently we're wednesday today this vlog has been going on so long that my flowers that i showed you which were beautiful are now dead they need to go in the bin i am about to walk to central london because i'm trying to get my steps in my party is in well it's in less than two weeks and um yeah that whole like I was going to be so fit by the time I was 30 and I was going to be this and I was going to be that. Guys, it didn't happen. But I'm just going all in for the next two weeks to just, you know, try and feel slightly better about myself. And I feel like you can like, you know, sort of look a bit better in two weeks. I mean, miracles happen. So I'm going to walk there and I also have some stuff to, well, some things to take back. Yes, yeah, so I have things to take back to Arquette, one jumper. Actually, it was this stripe jumper that I showed you in my last vlog. I decided to keep the mango one instead. I've got a corset, which I picked up from Zara. I'm also taking back the nude New Balance trainers. You guys also saw them in the last vlog, but I just feel like they don't go with anything. And I also want to get a couple of belt loops, like holes, punched in my Hermes belt. It's a little bit big for me. So we're going to do that. And as I say, I've done all my work this morning. I've been very productive, and I feel like doing this will get my fitness in and also do some jobs. And I'm also on the hunt for some shapewear. Is that what it's called? You know, like shapewear that you wear underneath like a dress or something. Because guys, I have my dress for my birthday. Well, I'm not sure if this is actually going to be the dress. Like, I think it's going to be the dress, but I've ordered two others. They haven't arrived yet. I'm going to give you a sneak peek. But I'm actually going to do like a try on video of like my birthday outfit. I don't want to give too much away, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to show you a little bit. Like we've got feathers, we've got sequins and it's pink and wait until you see my heels. Like you are not ready. The shoes are the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen in my entire life. Like they're amazing. By the way, the theme of the party, have I already told you this thing I told you at the beginning of the vlog? It was meant to be all gold and now we've gone all pink, but I feel like pink is just fun. Also, one other thing, earlier I was looking for a gilet in the cupboard. I had one from New Look, can't find it anywhere. And then, so I was kind of like just pacing around my apartment, like what could I wear? Because it's so in that in-between weather where it's not warm enough just to wear a jumper, but it's too hot to wear a proper coat, especially if I'm going to be power walking. And then I looked at my Zara puffer jacket and I remembered that you can take the arms off of it. So, this is the first time I've had this coat two years. No, I haven't. That's a lie. I've had it about a year and a half. I've had it for two winters, put it that way. And I've never done this before. But you can take the arms off and it turns into like a body warmer. Gilet, how good is this? This weather could not make its mind up today. I have just got soaked. <laughs> can you see my hair? Do I have my hat on? And now it's beautiful sunshine. 
And honestly, that's happened three times on this walk already. And I still have like another three miles to go. Get a um, iced oat matcha. Yep. Like, um, can I just get a small one, please? Can I also get um, one pump in it of um, sugar free vanilla. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Guys, I'm in my iced matcha era. Who am I? This actually tastes so good. Nipped into Pepsi, get some lunch. I am feeling the chicken salad. I don't know what it is though. I swear this is the best salad. I barely eat chicken, but it's so good. I've just nipped into Intermissimi. Their underwear is so beautiful. Look at this whole section. I love the pink. And also their nightwear. Honestly, so nice. Look how pretty this, um, is it a rose? No, what is it? I'm not unsure what flower that is, but look how pretty it is. By the way, guys, it's actually like mildly snowing. Like it's sleet. It's just the strangest weather today. Anyway, I'm going into the Zara of all Zara's. The one Duke of York Square. Oh my, they have the jacket that I want. I wonder if I can take it off the mannequin. I got the jacket. I can't believe it. I got the jacket. Look how pretty everything is over here. I actually got this pink suit the other day. Sorry, this light is really flashing. Look at this dress and this skirt. Oh wow, this skirt is incredible. We are on what feels like day 124 of this vlog. Guys, it, this has been going on forever. Like, and not even that much has happened. I know I said this in the vlog already. I actually edited the rest of this vlog together this morning. And I was thinking, I started this vlog, I think it was two weeks ago. And I've, this was actually meant to go out last Sunday and it's gonna go out a whole week later. All I can do is apologize. I do not know what I've been doing with myself. Well, I do, I have been really busy and I've had a lot going on. But it's still not an excuse because I love to keep up to date on my YouTube videos. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that too much longer. Anyway, I have a few bits to show you guys because, of course, I picked up some bits in this last week. You can't even see where this is from. How exciting. But before I show you what I got, I got some stuff from Zara as well, actually. Before I show you what I got, I just want to do a quick disclaimer. I actually did this in my last video and then I deleted what I said because... I felt like I just babbled on a lot and like no one would care. And then on that exact video, someone actually commented. It was a really nice comment, so I'm not throwing any shade. Um, but they actually commented saying like what I'd said about, if this is making any sense. So basically what the comment said was, um, do you ever feel overwhelmed with the amount that you buy? Because I buy so much. And it's funny because yeah, of course, sometimes I actually do. And I do understand that I do shop a lot. Truth is, I always have shopped a lot. It's how I ended up doing this as a job. It's the reason I started YouTube because I always felt like I had so much to share. And I built a community online that really love the same kind of things, whether it's fashion, makeup, like handbags, like shoes, whatever it might be, we're all very into the same stuff. But I am aware that I do buy a lot. But you always have to remember that I might be trying different makeup products or I might be buying different makeup products or different bags or more clothes because this is what I do for work. If I was to keep showing you the same handbag over and over and over again, even though you guys know that I do use the same handbag a lot or like I don't wear things like just one time, I wear it over and over again. If I was only to show you one thing, you would get very bored. If I was to do handbag reviews and I only had one handbag to review, I wouldn't be the best at my job. So I do have to buy new things, I have to try out new things, I have to spend my own money on stuff to give you guys good reviews. And then that doesn't mean that you buy every single thing that I show you. Like, I don't want any of you to do that because that is just not okay. But what I do want you to do is, let's say for example, this YSL belt, I have it on today. I bought this about six months ago. I've worn it so many times since. You've probably seen me wear it on Instagram. I love it. I think it's a great purchase. I now can tell you it's a great purchase because I've worn it so many times. It goes with everything. I think it's so classic. And therefore I would say, you know, if you're thinking about buying it, I would recommend you guys to go and buy it. That's what I do. But then I buy other things along the way, which I don't rate. And I tell you about those as well. But I just always want you guys to like remember that when you're watching my videos. I don't ever want any of you to feel like you don't have enough or you need to buy everything that I buy or you know I'm constantly throwing things at you. It's not like that at all. Hopefully that's come across okay. Um, because yeah, and I would also like to say that like 90% of the things that you see me show you guys 
I have bought with my own money. So it's not like I'm constantly trying to like flog products to you or like, it's not like that at all. It's just, I'm someone that loves fashion and I just like to share it with other people that love fashion and beauty and everything else in between. Anyway, I've got something from Loewe. Bit of a backstory behind this. Do you guys remember I bought the Anagram jeans, which everyone now has? I feel like maybe it's just my body shape they don't suit because everyone else is wearing them and they look fantastic, but on me they did not look great. I ordered, in the end, I think it was three pairs. They just all look so terrible. And one pair, stupidly, I didn't send back in enough time and they wouldn't give me my money back they just gave me a credit note this credit note has been burning a hole in my pocket since october of last year and they only gave me six months to spend it i've been going into the store trying to find things that i like no i didn't like anything but there just wasn't no there was just nothing that was really kind of grabbing me i was aware though that the voucher was about to run out so my boyfriend and i went to loewe well, it must have been last week now. And I did finally get something, mainly because the voucher is about to run out. But I do really, really, really love it. So, obviously came in this bag. And then, obviously, a ribbon on the top. We have a little bit of tissue paper. And it didn't actually come in a box. A little bit sad about that. Those fair boxes just take up so much room in my apartment. But it did come in a very lovely dust bag. I haven't even looked at this since I got it. So, we're doing this together. Now, I do have a few holidays booked coming up very exciting and we're heading towards summer so i had all of that in mind i do have the other loewe beach bag like i'm gonna go and get that actually so this is the one that i already have i got this in i think it was about november of last year because i took it to dubai for new year and i think it's so beautiful i love obviously like the anagram on the front it goes with everything and i just really think it's cute so obviously i had this one and it's got like black accents on it so i wanted one that had brown and this is apparently very new like this whole style is very new i think it only came out two days before i actually got it so how cute is this this is like a little beach kind of basket bag it is like rattan woven material, if I get a little bit closer to the camera. And then it's got a little leather stamp there with the Loewe anagram on it. The so gorgeous, super cute, love it. But the best part, let me show you this. It comes with this strap. So when it was on display, it obviously had this strap attached to it. And I thought maybe you had to buy the strap separately. So the strap alone, I think these are like £400. When I asked the SA, she said no, the strap comes with it. But you can take the strap off. And you can wear the strap like with other handbags. But it is actually meant to go like this. I don't know if you can see it properly. But I just thought it was so cool. I haven't seen anyone with it as well. So I love that about it too. I think it will go so well with like my Hermes Orans with the tan leather. And I feel like it's a real good twist between being a beach bag. But then with the strap it kind of makes it so you can kind of wear it in the city as well if that makes sense. If I stand up a little bit I'll show you. So obviously you can kind of hold it like this. So it just like looks like that or you can pop it over your arm this is such a rubbish way of me showing you this but you can put it over your arm like this and then it just hangs with the strap and i adore this strap so much it's actually the same um strap that comes on what's the other loewe bag i can't remember the name of it it's like a half moon shape but it is exactly the same strap how cool is that? And it felt like the bag was free because I bought it with the voucher that I had. I mean, technically it absolutely wasn't free and I definitely paid full price just six months previous. Because I spent that money like a fair time ago, it felt like I got it for free and I love it. I feel like I'm gonna wear it so much. I also just realized how much of a mess the background of this video is. Like, look at all of those boxes. I am actually filming a haul probably gonna film it tomorrow and that will be my next video because I'm doing, I've got two new pairs of heels to show you and guys they are incredible like incredible i'm gonna do a designer shoe haul but it's also going to be linked to what i'm gonna wear for my birthday so i'm really looking forward to filming that video so that'll be um yeah i'm gonna film that tomorrow so that's gonna be my next one but that's why all of that is in the background because it's got lots of sequin dresses and beautiful heels well that was everything i had to show you guys i mean i do actually have more but as i've already mentioned i'm gonna be doing that in the next video and i'm very excited for in the meantime, you all have a good week and take care of yourselves and I love you all so much and I will see you in the next one. Take care guys. Bye bye.